All right, so six, six people. Okay, we wait for a while. <clears throat> Okay, please sign your attendance. Eh? Sometimes you forget to sign your attendance. If you can, lah. But if you cannot, so yeah. for, ah. for server problem, uh, just now I, I saw that two attendance is missing. Ah, yeah, yeah. Because two I didn't actually... Uh, two attendance is missing. Yeah, that was server problem. Oh, the server problem. Okay. Mm. So later we'll go back to the Google form. Uh, Google, Google, you know, Google. This Gmeet tendons. Yeah. Okay. So um, nine percent then. Okay. Uh, those who did. Uh, when is the deadline for the IG? Eh? Suppose, supposedly you already su uh submit. Eh? Your IG, IG link. Um, IG account or IG report? IG... Account, IG. account report, account submission date was 13 maybe. 13. Ah, yeah. Two previous days, can? Uh, yeah, so basically you need to report submit. Report 31st. So you need to submit to me around... Uh, 13 eh? and uh, it's already 15 eh? so shall I go through your Instagram <coughs> okay so supposedly like you already close not close lah you already stopped lah with your Instagram and eh? uh, yes ma'am already uh, one week ago stopped so uh, you can actually just do announcement lah in your IG saying that we already stopped if you are doing your own business, you want to continue, you just continue lah. But if you want to stop, uh, it's better to to actually announce one post, make make one post saying that we already stopped. Okay. Uh, even my entry, we also I didn't announce it yet because some of my students still continue their business in uh, entrepreneurship. Yeah, ma'am, we are continuing. Mm -mm. Some of them, some of them. I think half of the my entrepreneurship students uh stop their business. Half uh half of them still continue with their business, which is good lah. Okay. At least we have uh, extra pocket pocket money. Okay, so um today what I'm going to teach is uh hopefully everyone is here. Okay. <coughs> So today I'm going to teach what eh? uh, citation. Eh? I'm not sure if I if I want to if I want to teach you Mendeley because it's quite hard to teach you using Gmeet. Okay. Do you want me to teach you Mendeley? I think I better do one video lah for that. Eh? Uh, so that because when we want to learn software through Gmeet, you need to have like uh, what we call it two screen. Eh? So the other screen is open up the video and then the other screen you do your practice. Lah, eh? So if I if I teach you right now, I think it's not going to help so much. Lah. Like I think last last semester I did it in a class, so I can actually stop for a while and follow your your progress, your practice, and then once you're done, then we go to the next step. Eh? Uh, so because everything is online right now, so you need to learn from from a video lah. So inshallah, I will do another one video for that. Uh, that video is not. I'm not teaching you how to find literature from Mendeley because I think you can find literature in so many ways. Google Scholar, even you go to IOM online library. There are many ways. Uh, you go to Emerald, you go to Taylor and Francis. Uh, 
yeah the, the 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 what you call it the mandalay mandalay also going to help you um finding the literature but that is not what i'm teaching eh? uh, i'm going to teach you later on i'm going to make a video out of it um to do your APA citation using Mendeley, even some some people asking me, can can we rely hundred percent on Mendeley when we are doing referencing? No, you cannot. Okay, because Mendeley is just a tool. You are the one who actually the brain. Uh, the the what you call it? The Mendeley is not the brain. Eh? <coughs> it's just a tool. For example, like you using. Word, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel. Uh, you are the brain for the tools. Eh? Uh, so uh, Mendeley also the same. So it's not something very magic. You put there whatever reference you want, and then uh, you click. You click. Uh, you click on the Mendeley. Everything is like magic. You don't care about it anymore. No, that's not the way it is. Okay. <coughs> so before we we learn Mendeley, we need to learn the manual citation. Okay, so I'm going to give you one document. It's called APA citation. All right, I think some of uh, my students in the past already already have this. Okay, but this is, I think, this is the best APA citation guideline that you can refer to. Okay, uh, which is uh, very very good lah. Okay, <coughs> where is it? Where did I put it? I have so many files I couldn't remember where I put my stuff. Okay, document. Oh, look at the desktop. Why is he? Even my desktop also have so many files. Oh, I don't know lah. Any anyone wants to become a lecturer here? <laughs> Yes, ma'am. You wanna? Eh? Uh, so be yes. be ready for the the most incredible, complicated job in the world. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> alright, so this is uh, I I share with you within the WhatsApp group, so you can actually download this lah, okay, and use it for your research, uh, regardless your thesis or the assignment, okay. So this one is coming from. Uh, what is it? Sorry. This is from University of Australia. Eh? I think they, they do the citation guideline very, very good. This is Sydney. University of Sydney. Okay. So uh, later I'm going to teach you through this. Okay. So what is a citation actually? <coughs> If you are new to research, of course you don't know what citation. You 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 actually already see it, but you don't know that is actually a citation. Okay. Um. So basically, from this one, this uh, APA citation guideline, uh, it calls. Uh, let me let me show you one one thesis. Sample. Sample this. This is sample. <coughs> This one is from, I don't know, Wales. Okay. So basically, if you see here, this is a thesis of someone, lah, even in journal, publication, articles, whatsoever. So uh, this is called as uh, what you call citation, eh? this one. We have author and also um, year. So, and then we have at the last part of the thesis, it's called references. Okay, so Malaysia basically in Malaysia, uh, Malaysia format, we are using APA citation. Uh, there are so many other formats as well. If you see here, in the in the word, eh, you can see there is one word reference. Uh, oh, yeah, what happened to my word? Microsoft Word suddenly hang? Okay. There are many other 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 citation. Oh. Okay. Um there are style here, you can see. Uh because I have already mentally, so I cannot see. Okay, so for example, if you go to Google Scholar <coughs> 
And sometimes if you want to publish in certain journals, uh, international, sometimes they don't use APA citation. Uh, sometimes they use something else. Uh, for example, like, uh, I don't know, I couldn't remember what's the other, but there are some other things. Let me see. Okay, for example, I click here. <coughs> they are M MLA, Chicago, Harvard, and Vancouver. Uh, so this is the styles. And uh, if you if you submit to international journals, sometimes they want Chicago, sometimes they want Harvard, sometimes they want Vancouver. So it depends on uh, on the journal. Lah. Uh, okay. So basically in Malaysia, I think some of the countries, I couldn't remember which one, are using a peer citation. Um, also in uh when when you are doing your research of the thesis thesis lah, eh? uh, here in uh, IUM okay <coughs> so this one uh, this one is called reference let me see okay a presentation here uh so if you if you see the the citation uh guideline here you have you can see in text reference and also reference list eh? so in text reference uh sometimes i call is uh, an in citation la to 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 be short la in text citation uh it's actually like oh, sorry um, <coughs> Especially like this one, okay. Especially like this one. This is in text citation, or I call it as in citation, eh? To 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 be short, okay. Uh, so there are many many ways of doing in text citation or in in citation, uh, which I'm going to, uh, which I'm going to what you call it, uh, explain later. But when it comes to reference list, uh, there's only one way, lah. Uh, reference list is the detail of your in citation whatever you put inside your paragraph whatever in citation you put there you must have have it detailly uh, make it detail in in reference list uh, for example here we have got trail so basically in the in here for example lowest and uh, prousy 2001 uh, in citation so basically in the reference list also need to have that uh, don't miss any single site in citation okay uh, so this is quite boring but it's it's basic which you need to know so low lowest uh, so for example here lowest is here so if let's say you you find a thesis that have in citation, but when you want to find its author in reference list, but it's gone, meaning uh, the author makes mistakes lah. Uh, simple as that. Okay. So <coughs> there are many ways of doing. So I call it as the in citation. Eh? I call it as in citation and also reference list. So this one is from the I can say this one is from the the paragraph, okay. And then uh, this one should be in the the end of the document lah, end of document. Okay. So how to do incitation actually? There are two ways of doing incitation. Okay. Number one is when the incitation is uh, independent. And number two is dependent. Uh, this is not variable. Eh? Uh, what is the meaning of independent? It can be by its own. Uh, it can. It doesn't have anything to do with the sentence. Dependent means that the citation needs to be depend or must be included in the sentence. For example, eh? no, independent section become last part of the. Yeah, it's part of the dependent will become part of the, the 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 sentence. For example, independent. <coughs> nah. Okay, independent apple is red. Fatin two thousand eighteen. Okay, meaning that this one is independent. It doesn't have any uh Meaning that if let's say it it been erased, uh, the the sentence is still okay, it's still right lah. Uh, Apple is red, okay. That is the meaning of independent. Uh, okay, 
Uh, what about dependent? Dependent is like this. Fatin, 2018, explain that the apple is red. So if let's say you cancel this, the sentence is not complete. Okay, so this is the meaning of dependent. Uh, sometimes you want to you want to do this type of writing. Sometimes you want to do this type of writing. It depends on you. Like uh, both is okay. Okay, uh, sometimes you just want to change the style of your writing, and eh? so sometimes you want to make it independent. Sometimes you want to make it dependent. So it depends on you. Okay, but if you are doing it independent way. Uh, so the the incitation should be like this lah. Okay, fourteen, two thousand eighteen, and bracket the whole. If let's say you are doing it in uh dependency, so only the bracket on the on the year. Eh? Understand? Any questions so far? Uh, understand lah tu. Uh, okay lah tu kan. All right. So, <clears throat> okay. Uh, what is the when when you are going to use at all? More than three. More than more two than, or more than two. More than three, yeah. No, more than, three. More than two. More than two, eh? More, more than, than three. Two, eh? More than three, isn't eh? it? More than three. Okay, yeah, yeah. but uh, there, is, there is also a uh, saying that. If you are doing it first time, for example, first time mention about the authors, eh? First time mention about the authors, about the authors. Then you need to mention, for example, you have five authors. Uh, first time you are uh, mention the five authors within your thesis, so you should mention all. For example, uh, Ali, Abu, Fadin, Husna. And so it. So this is the first time you want to put in your thesis, okay? So you should mention, mention all. And then after that, you want to cite this this authors again. So it become Ali E at all, 2018. Okay. Uh, so it's actually more than more than more than three, I think. Uh, so if let's say you have only two authors, so you just put lah Fatin and Ali, two thousand eighteen. Uh, from from the first time until the end. But if you having more than three authors, okay, so you actually uh, doing this is the first time, and then the rest will be at all. Okay, understand. Any question? But ma'am, hmm. nowadays some journal they refer it more than more than two. More than two. Yeah, should use at all because more than three sometimes big name mm -hmm. one two three. If in text citation more than uh, three in text citation, four mm -hmm. in text citation with much author, it become messy. So this use more than two. They suggest mm -hmm. to use at all. All right. So that one is on the general part again. Okay? Okay. Uh, sometimes journals journals have so many headache <laughs> headache formatting. So you just follow them lah, whatever format they want. Okay, but when it comes to IUM uh, research thesis, uh, I think more than three is okay lah. Eh? more than three. So that one is journal have so many many things. Uh, sometimes it's not about APA citation. Sometimes, even though they mention, they mention they want APA citation. They, 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 they I think their formatting is actually not APA citation. I don't know lah. So it's actually very headache lah. Eh, their formatting. Uh, this is an advanced level researcher, right? And if they want to go for journal. Sometimes, ma'am, they suggest for APA citation, but they have their own style. Like they uh, exclude bracket. They exclude uh, sometimes ah. they exclude bracket mm -hmm. APA but no bracket. Yes, uh, so 
they have their own not I, I i don't consider them using apa citation lah. they, they they actually do their own citation style <laughs> okay so yes. uh, i also publish several journals also headache already eh? uh, yes. the formatting will take several days actually only the format uh, for the journals and if let's say high index uh, high index journal have have more strict uh, requirement lah with regards to their formatting even you, I have a hmm. so i am this is if we use more than three author at all then it should be okay or not uh for journal or for IUM? For IUM. IUM okay, can. Hmm. Like like I have three author in hmm. a uh, like the sentence is something like uh, there are several uh, uh several researcher said about this one. So I have to put several citation, right? So yes. one, for one citation, they have several uh, multiple uh, or two or three author. So in that case, if I all three author at all then it should be okay yes it should be okay lah oh. uh, sometimes sometimes students do, do, do not uh, even in the first time they mention about the authors also they already do this uh, they already early at all and automatically yeah. uh, also okay lah for me as a examiner I, I'm okay with that as long as you you know what is APA citation you follow what is APA citation I think that's okay lah eh? all right Thank you. All right. So this is the incitation, eh, which I'm talking about. Uh, any any other question with regards to incitation? Okay. So how to actually combine several papers, for example, several sources within an incitation? Uh, I'm I'm taking about I'm taking it as an independent line, eh? independent incitation. Uh, for example, you have. Uh, Fatin and Ali, 2018. Uh, Abu N. Uh, if let's say this is your name, please uh, take it as you are actually learning from me. <laughs> okay, so Abu and Oreo, eh? Because I'm eating Oreo. 2015. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, cat and bird. For example, eh? 2000. So how how you are going to you want to actually combine want to combine this incitation um, to actually make it one sentence. For example, you have for example all these three papers have the same uh the same argument okay or same argument about something. For example, uh, uh Fatin Ali Abu Oreo and Cat and Bird saying that apple sorry apple is red. Okay. Apple is red. They actually uh, uh, agree that apple is red. Eh? But the other author saying that apple is green. I don't know lah eh? because we have a green apple. Eh? Okay, so basically it's like this. Eh? This is independent citation. Apple is red. You start with, with what? With the, the oldest, the oldest year. Eh, 2012. So start with cat, cat and bird. 2012. Okay, I don't know what's the what is this. Okay, and then uh, 2015 Abu and Oreo. Okay, 2015 and Fatin and Ali. 2018 close the bracket okay uh, so uh, you actually this one been used when you want to justify that people for example you want to do a service quality okay uh, assurance is significantly uh, we call it uh, effect the customer satisfaction and there are many papers there are many authors and past researchers saying that Okay, you want to justify why you want to use assurance in your thesis, so uh, this is how you do it lah. Okay, uh, this is a very simple, simple example lah, like police friend. Uh, okay, any, any, any question with regards to this? Uh, so the, the juniors, okay, you understand? I think this class have juniors and seniors. Eh? 
All right. So we go back to the APA citation here. So how to use this APA citation? For example, you are taking from books, okay? You're taking from books and then you have only one author. So this is how you do it lah. Okay, you go to books and then you want to, to do the one author only. Uh, so this is how you, this is how you do it. Uh, this is in independent. This is the way you do dependent uh, type, type of style. Okay? Uh, so if let's say you have, you, you actually want to cite for two authors, Okay, uh, this is how you do it. Okay, for books. Okay, this is in text citation. Ma'am, somebody is mm. asking something in the chat room. Oh, okay. Let me, I don't know, I open so many things. Okay. Madam, can we have the whiteboard just now? Oh, you, you want to screenshot or what? Oh. Do you want this why uh, yeah yeah I'm going to 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 share with you later eh? uh, it's actually it can be uh, like that all right so uh the the one who the, the inside in text citation is not really that complicated I'm like, not, the, uh, it's not, not in the center I think it should be a little bit right the board oh. and the smaller smaller uh, one, one is smaller. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's okay now. Okay. I will give you this one uh, later on eh? uh, in the WhatsApp group. Hopefully, it's not really that smaller. <clears throat> I, will, I will take, I think I will take uh, this one piece and this one piece. Okay, so basically, uh, the, the inside in citation is not really that complicated. Lah. The, the complicated one is the reference list. Eh? Uh, when you have your in citation, of course, you need to do your reference list. Okay, so how to do your reference list? Uh, we go back to here. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, usually you will you will actually cite from journals. Okay, uh, this is journals. So you have journal article with one author, journal article with two authors. So you 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 go and see lah. Uh, I think when with regards to this uh, University of Sydney, uh, journal article with uh, three to five authors, uh, then they, they they start to use at all. Eh? So you can see here the way they use at all is like this. So there is no dot uh, dot comma uh, something like that. Okay. So you just follow lah. Uh, if you follow this, inshallah, inshallah, there's not no problem. Okay. So how to do the reference list? Okay. Uh, we go to the manual of doing the reference list. Okay. Cool, right? This is white white boy. <laughs> and I bought this. What we call it writing. Bad thing. Okay, so reference list. So basically, you have uh, you want to cite for journal. Okay, my name is Fatin Usna Suim. So with regards to APA citation, they are actually uh, when they want to cite something, they are talking about family, family name being. Uh, at the front okay family name being at the front so i think with regards to uh chinese name even uh, western name uh they do not have problem with family name because they always have their family name on the front okay but for for us like uh, in 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 Malaysia, uh, <clears throat> we don't have family name actually, because um, yeah, we don't have it. Okay, uh, for example, in in Malaysia, Fatin Usna is our name, eh? is my name, and this one is my father's name. So, but when it comes to APA citation, the father's name is the family name. So the suit will be in front comma h dot s eh, sorry h f h sorry f h eh? so f dot h okay if let's say the chinese name for example lim kok han 
uh, Lim still on the front because Lim is the family name. So Lim K H. Uh, so it's different. Eh? Um, this is Malaysian name. This is a uh, normal uh, family name being at the front. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> so when you want to actually do your reference list, yeah? where is it? Where is my adopt? Okay, when you want to do the reference list, as you can see here, Jackson A. Jackson is the family name for for the for this person lah. and the A is actually his name. Eh? Uh, so Jackson comma a dot and then there is a year. Okay, so basically like that lah. All right. So for me, I don't actually we 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 we, we are not going to be known as our name. We are going to be known as our family name. So in my case, my father is the popular one. Uh, okay. Uh, so. <coughs> So there is the reference list. Uh, if let's say you have two or three, you can actually see see here how they do it. Kramer E dot comma and then N. And if let's say you have more, do do it like that, okay? And then uh, if let's say for journals, uh, this is the title of the journal. And then this is the uh, the title of the paper. Sorry, this is the title of the paper. Uh, this is the title of the journal. Uh, it's issue, okay. Uh, this one is the version, I think, and this one is the page, okay. <coughs> the pages of the journal. So you need to know this manually because uh, if let's say when the examiner say you have problems with your reference, you do not follow the APA citation, at least you know how to edit. Okay, uh, so this is the journal part. And then for each sources, for example, this one, this is a book. So the, the way of writing it should be quite different. Lah. Uh, you treat from where, even from online sources, online book have different uh, way of citing the reference part for the book that is not coming from online. So no need for retrieve. Okay, uh, you can also um, get your sources from uh, journal newspaper, newspaper articles, uh, journal article, uh, this one, government publication. So every single sources have different way of citing and reference. Lah. Okay, so you need follow, for example, the the big uh we call it the capital letter the small letter so everything you need to follow for example this one is small letter or small letters uh, to that extent eh? uh, so what, what kind of uh, retrieving eh? retrieve this one you can actually get from the for example you take it from website so you just take it out from the uh the link the website link okay any questions so far Okay, so that is the basic of, uh, this is the basic, I think you can say that this is the basic of APA citation, how to cite. Now you know. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, will, I will share with this later on. Okay. So this is how you do it. Lah. Okay. So there is a shortcut. There is a shortcut. Okay with not using this is a shortcut for books and also for for journals uh, so you go to google scholar as you can see eh? uh, so you want to cite for example you want to cite this paper and then you go to here eh? this is the i don't know what's the name exclamation mark eh? it's not it's not extreme now i don't know what's the name okay you just click there and then you have it so you can actually just copy paste. And of course, this you cannot rely this 100%. For example, you want to take this one. Eh? Take, take it this one. Eh? <coughs> Harvard Business Review. I think this one is, uh, this is a journal. Okay. Let's see whether that this uh, citation is right or wrong. 
So this is a journal. Okay, we go here. Me, I, this one I'm going to explain about it quiz later on. Eh? I need this. Okay, so basically this is a journal. So we go to journal, 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 journal with two authors. Eh? This is two authors. Okay. Journal. Oh, this one is not. Okay. All right. Journal with two authors. Eh? This one line. Let's compare. Okay, may I see sugar? Okay, I think the comma is the dot is okay with regards to the name. Uh, the paper title is okay. Quality, everything in a small, small letter. But what about the journal title? Okay, so as you can see here, it's a uh, big letter, big letter, capitalized on the, on the what? Uh, on the letter, eh? So, this is wrong. You need to change it. Harvard Business Review. Okay, this one is okay. But, because uh, this one is notepad, so... It, it, there is no italic, eh? so you need to use the italic within the Microsoft Word. Lah. Uh, so this one you need to add italic uh, until here, eh? until here. And then this is not, the pages is not italic. Uh, so to that extent you need to edit, that, that's how you edit your, uh, your, your epic citation. So uh, basically there are something wrong, even though you take it from the Google, Google Scholar. Uh, the same thing like your Mendeley lah. You put everything in there and then you just uh, take it wherever and then uh, you you just uh, leave it that way. But sometimes the 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 Mendeley is not it's not right as well. So you need to still need to manually edit your reference. Okay. So hopefully um you okay with the citation? Eh? Uh, so that's the basic one lah. I think if you master this, then you can do whatever research you want, whatever assignment, including your research. All right. So with regards to your quiz, uh, chapter 7, 12, 14, 18, uh, inshallah I will start uploading all your chapter videos but uh, you cannot rely on your friends chapter videos because uh, they are not covering all the chapters okay so there are four chapters okay first four chapters uh, 20 20 question eh? 20 questions this is 10 percent ma'am all the all the question is uh, descriptive MCQ. or mcq says the mcq MCQ, all MCQs, uh, multiple choice question, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so 10% uh, cam, uh, this is 10% cam. Eh? 20 question, I give you 30 minutes. 30 minutes, only one time trial this time. Okay, so I will open one week eh, from 20 to 27. If you have problems, difficulty in technicality, for example, your uh, what do you call it? your your internet down or whatever it is lah, okay. Uh, and then suddenly it pop out like uh, the, the the dragon one, you know the dragon, the no connection dragon, playing around yet. Yeah? Uh, just screenshot. You screenshot the problem. You screenshot lah the dragon. I don't know if they say the dragon has come out. No, and the dragon. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And then you WhatsApp to me. You WhatsApp personally to me. Okay, you PM to me. Uh, PM to madam. Uh, and then I will open retake. I will open retake after on, on 28 and onwards. Eh? 28 onwards. Only with the evidence that you have problem, then I can give you a take. 
right? Uh, retake is going to be the same quiz. I just give you a password lah later on. Uh, okay, so uh, so that is actually about the quiz. Any question on the quiz? No, eh? Okay. So citation is done. So let's go here again. Okay, where, where I stop? Eh? Okay. All right, this one is done. The RQ done. Okay, uh, this is contribution. This one is later on. Okay, so basically around here, like right? literature review. Eh? Your theory, uh, your framework is done. Okay. So what is the difference between theoretical framework and conceptual? Do you have any idea what is that? Yes, ma'am. Hmm, what is it? Uh, we can define this this thing two ways. Mm. The first thing is theoretical framework, which have theory only, don't mm. have empirical tested or don't have framework like uh, uh, customer satisfaction, customer loyalty. They are theory. They have theory. They don't have any framework uh, mm. with empirical test. And mm. some theory they have their framework as well with empirical test like service quality, TV, SOAR, TAM. All those theories, service quality, we have, uh, for the TAM, we have, the TAM is a technical acceptance model. We have theory as well as we have framework. So this is the one thing that we can distinguish by theoretical framework and conceptual framework. And another, another way we can distinguish mm -hmm. the theory, as I'm a researcher, I'm doing a research, I, mm. I, I, I'm following a theory, which is whether it is empirical tested, whether it is theoretical or conceptual, it doesn't matter. Later mm. on, I adopt some variables and I make a new conceptual framework that mm. should call all conceptual framework. Okay. That is very um, academic, which is good on theoretical part. Okay, so... Uh, let's go back. What is the examiner think about this theoretical and conceptual? Uh, what the uh, RG say is actually uh, right, okay, theoretically, but sometimes we want to know what the examiner feel about these things. If you can see in my template here, I put two things, uh, theoretical framework and also conceptual framework. So there are two things. Theoretical framework, uh, I think the, the last the last class I'm talking about theory, that is the, the different types of uh, framework that you, you want to apply, right? Okay. <clears throat> so what the examiner see, uh, me as an examiner, so a theoretical, uh, you must have a theory, of course, in your, in, sorry. What is, what's going on? Oh, sorry, I'm using eraser. Okay, so you need to have a theory and then you need to have a model. And sometimes you don't have a model, okay? Uh, and that, that is actually on qualitative base. Lah. Uh, that one is okay. Or you, you have, uh, for example, I say you have a model, you've been supported by the theory, okay? Or you, you already find a theory plus model at the same time. Uh, for example, like uh, TPB theory. Eh? Uh, so, and sometimes you, you're kind of confused whether that the, the, is that the true theory and model? Uh, so you can, you need to go through the paper that you read, eh? the general paper. If they say they're talking about, uh, they come up with their own framework and then they've been supported uh, they've been supported by the theory. So that is actually uh, uh, supporting uh, this is eh? the, the, this one, eh? uh, this, this one type. I don't know why I keep uh, taking the reason one. Okay, so this one. So basically from me, theoretical, if you want to use a theoretical, you are actually adapting it 100%. 100% model or theory that you find. Okay, you adapting 100%. But conceptual is actually a framework 
that you uh, you get for example you have uh, TPB eh? TPB is IV number one two three they have three IV towards the DV uh, sorry MV and DV okay this is the original theoretical framework huh? this is what I call it eh? the original uh, theoretical framework so you want to adapt 100% 100% of this framework, then your framework for the research is called theoretical framework, also here. But if you want to do a conceptual framework, for example, here in TPB, you only want to use up to MV, and then this MV you want to change to DV, whatever it is. Lah. For example, you want to have some sort of changes you have to have some sort of changes. For example, you want to add another uh, one IV, uh, okay, one IV, or maybe uh, you you want to change, uh, for example, this DV to MV. So whatever changes you did to the original theoretical framework, it's called conceptual framework because it's a, just a concept from yes, you. Yes, ma'am. That, uh, that, that thought I said the second. Uh, that, uh, ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, which is theoretically, you, you actually explain it in, in the theoretical. So, so if you are actually adapting the 100% the of the TPB, for example, you are actually adapting only 3 IV, 1 MV, 1 DV, exactly like that. So, in your thesis, you cannot put conceptual framework. You need to put S theoretical framework. So basically, when you are doing research in your real research, uh, you are going to use conceptual. If you are not doing conceptual, uh, the examiner can consider that you are not doing any contribution to the framework because you are 100% adapting from the original framework. Uh, so for this assignment, it's okay if you want to do theoretical framework. Okay. Uh, or conceptual framework uh, with the class lah, eh? but if you are using TPB up to only the MV part, uh, the conceptual framework will be will be used uh, because you are just taking half of the half of the half of the framework. Understand or not? Or I can say lah, the TF is the original one. Conceptual framework, you change it. You change the, the original one. There's some changes. Understand? That's the very that's a very misleading way, but that's how you understand it. Huh? Okay. Is there any question so far with regards to this? No, eh? Uh, so after this, if let's say your supervisor say, okay, uh, what is your conceptual framework? Ah, now you understand lah, eh? okay so i think uh, the theoretical framework so you need to this one on this part to 2.7 you take from the 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 the, the what you call the, the framework that you adapt for example you take from a paper so you put it under here lah, eh? the original framework that you you take you adapt to okay uh, because sometimes uh when you when you read uh, a lot of paper their their framework is too complicated for example eh? iv 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 1 2 3 okay uh, and then you have suddenly have mv here okay and then uh, it can become like this as well lah, okay uh, and then there is a mediator uh, mv2 mv3 mv MV4 and so on and suddenly you want to do DV and then the DV here. So you want to actually simplify this uh, according to my assignment. Uh, so you change something lah. For example, MV, MV, MV you only take this one only and then it become my assignment. So change it to the conceptual framework. Uh, this, this changes, you put it in uh you put it in the in here 
this part. Uh, this is the original framework that you take from. Uh, this is the part that you change and make it simple. Understand? Okay, so the first paragraph of theoretical framework, your theory or framework that you are using, um, some history of it, some concept of it, okay, definition, if let's say the theory have uh, definition, the, the theory implementation on the case study area. And then you must actually include the original framework. For example, uh, you go to TPB theory, <laughs> this is a very common mistake that students do. Every time I examine, they do not have the original framework that they take from. Okay, for example, you take from this one. Okay, you just take this uh, save image. Okay, and then you save. All right, and then you put it in the here. Okay, then you put it. You must put the original framework that you take from. It doesn't necessarily a theory with a model at the same time, like TPB. Okay, uh, for example, you take from a paper, there is a framework that is not a theory, but it's a, it's a model uh, that you take from. Okay, and then you just put it in there. Uh, you must put the original one because examiner want to see where what kind of changes that you did from the original one to your conceptual framework. Uh, this is the framework. The conceptual framework is the, the framework that you change uh, from the adaptation from the original one, which is called uh, theoretical framework. Okay, the conceptual work is the, 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 final, uh, the final framework that you are going to use for your research. Okay, uh, you, are not using, you are not using this framework. Uh, you are not using this model. You are using this model. Okay, uh, the, the, or the model that you already changed. Uh, and it's been called conceptual framework. Okay. All right. Any any questions so far? Mm, I think I cover many already. Eh? I think the literature review part is already understanding. Eh? You already understand the literature, literature review part. You just uh, put lah whatever it is that I, I acquire. Eh? Hopefully you understand the measurement here. Eh? Okay. <clears throat> uh, we have another six minutes. Okay, so the problem statement, I already covered this or not? Okay, so, okay, for example, uh, a summary of real life problem situation, this one I already explained, meaning you just cite from from newspaper, from, uh, from newspaper, lah, basically. Eh? But when it comes to the uh, second paragraph of your problem statement, uh, literature gaps. After you're done with the uh, literature review, you will find gaps. What is actually a gap? What is actually literature gaps? Okay, for example, you do IV, IV1, IV2, IV3 towards the DV. And when you read something, for example, you read from one paper saying that IV1 is not significant. But some authors say it's significant. So meaning that there is a, a gap. There is a gap. And sometimes the gap can be like this, lack of research. When you are writing something in the future, for example, you want to do something, uh, for example, uh, to actually argue that the water contains oxygen, for example. Eh? You want to actually say that the H2O contain, does, does not contain oxygen. Uh, I don't know, right? for example, you want to argue this. Okay, uh, so of course you want to find a research about research about water lah, eh? this is about water. And then you find it very little research about this thing, about this, this argument. 
And then you put no research of water. This is a totally wrong sentence. Do not do this. Do not say no research. Okay? Because there is some research anywhere in the world you don't know, which you don't you don't read. Should better indicate insufficient. Insufficient research. lack of research. Uh, yeah. this is the way of writing. Or inadequate. Inadequate, yes. Okay. So do not put no research at all. Uh, your examiner will bash you. Okay. Uh, saying that uh, they will actually see that you are not have enough read. Uh, so this is something that is a no no eh, when it comes to literature gaps. Okay, sometimes it's about the the the, the what you call it the counter counter uh, finding. Eh? Um, Since, I have it. Um, what is if, it? If we submit a thesis mm. for the masters, for the PhD as well, mm -hmm. normally examiner they will read sentence by sentence. Is in every word or sometimes they do. Okay, if you ask me, I didn't read sentence by sentence. <laughs> but sometimes, some, res uh, some examiner can caught this. Uh, it's it's based on your luck as well. Huh? Okay. Uh, sometimes they say, eh, oh, there is a sentence say no research of, uh, then you doom. Lah. If they say you are, um, if the, the examiner didn't, didn't read so much so maybe you didn't uh she or he didn't actually uh read this kind of uh sentence so you are lucky enough to let go lah to be let go but you need to understand that your proposal defense will be examined by two two examiners okay and different examiners have different way of examining i'm a person that is very simple as a min as a minor. but i'm very critical at problem statement framework theory the, the way you 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 explaining is not really important to me lah. but when it comes to theoretical theory how you support your theory uh, that is very uh that is what i'm actually read and i read it line by line if you ask me as a examiner I read, uh, I don't really read around here because I can see the measurement in the chapter three. Eh? Uh, I, I will read uh, this one, the theoretical framework, uh, your your conceptual framework, okay, your RO, your RQ, uh, and then your research contribution. Uh, basically on chapter one, I read line by line. Lah. Uh, but chapter two is not, not really read all the lines by line okay but some but, is in the, ah then research contribution means in chapter one we have um uh, before completion we have research outline and we have key definition term significant mm. of the study so uh, research contribution is which one okay research contribution is on the chapter one yeah uh, this one I'm going to cover lah. Eh, this contribution also research uh, the problem statement because it actually uh, cover. I will cover next week problem statement and research contribution because this these two things 1.2 1.4 is really related to each other. Uh, it's like head and also your leg. You cannot separate. We have we have background problem statement. A uh, research objective, research question, significance of the study. So, significance of the study and the contribution is It's actually the same. Uh, research contribution and significance of the study is actually the, the same. Uh, Salam alaikum, Mother. I have a question. Hmm. What's your question? Uh, in literature review, I have a question. Okay. Okay. Uh, Madam, ah. uh, in paragraph three and paragraph two, can okay. you explain that for me about the impact or benefit of the case okay. study and measurement? For example, you you actually do a uh, service quality on customer yeah. service 
progression in mobile industry for example eh? so yes. uh the, when it comes to service quality there is uh, a independent variable called uh, tangible eh? tangible so tangible towards the uh, for example the customer satisfaction so the customer satisfaction uh, is actually increased when you have good tangibility of the service for example you have good uh, good environment uh, for example, no agreement, good uh, product, okay, uh, the customer service, good customer service, uh, call center is good, so all the tangibility is very good, then the uh, customer satisfaction is heightened. So it's actually a benefit, meaning there is an impact towards the customer satisfaction. This kind of uh, sentence that you need to find within all the journals that you read. Uh, this is this is considered as the impact or benefit. Okay, understand? Yeah, okay, so it's all about the benefit of the relationship between yes. the uh, right? Yes, you are right. Okay, and then the third paragraph talking about measurement. What is measurement actually? Measurement, like I say, uh, last week is talking about the question that you are going to put inside your questionnaire. So, for example, is it where is my white boy? Okay, okay. For example, you have um, <clears throat> you have tangible toward customer satisfaction. Okay, this is service quality IV number one. Okay, so in within the tangible, there are some other things inside tangible. For example, if you are doing a uh, a uh, service of tourism service okay uh, tourism service uh, and then there's some there's a price package okay uh, the employee tangible means something that you can see lah okay uh, what's more uh, for example the the, the 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 hotel or the resort this is called measurement. Listen. This is called measurement. This is all the things <laughs> that you are going to question in your questionnaire later on. Imagine that you are a respondent of this research. Okay. You are going to uh, you are going to to answer the question from this research. Okay. So this is the questionnaire talking about tangible okay how is the price given in our service excellent not excellent uh, too expensive and so on okay how is the package uh, this is called measurement but you don't have to to write it in 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 question 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 way in a question type of uh, question lah. You don't put question inside your paragraph. You just put like this lah. Okay, for example, the tangible for tourism package have five measurement. Okay, for example, price, package, employee, hotel, resort, and then you cite from someone. Uh, you cite lah, for example, Fatin. For example, Fatin, uh, Fatin paper have mentioned this measurement. So you take it lah. Understand lah? And this measurement will be used in your questionnaire later on. Thank you, madam. I understand. Okay. All right. Okay, so that, that's the meaning of measurements, eh? So I think we are done. Inshallah, uh, next week I'm going to cover the problem statement and also the the, the research contribution. Then uh, next next week I'm going to cover the formatting part. Uh, the formatting part is actually, uh, even though you feel like it's not really, uh, it's actually very sometimes very simple, but sometimes it will you get get you headache if you are not prepared from the start. Okay, so I think that's all. Uh, that's all from me.
<coughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You can leave if you want. Okay. So until eight, I will be in here for consultation. There's no recording for that. Eh? All right. Ah, uh, Shafina. Eh? Madam, we Thank can you, only find the original framework. I cannot add new IV. Yes, you can. Uh, Shafina, eh? you can add new IV. Uh, but no DV. DV, DV only one. Uh, MV can, uh, mediator, moderator can be several, IV can be several, DV only one lah. So basically, uh, there are some research doing do two IV DVs, but that is not your level lah. Okay, alright. So I think. Uh, Thank you, madam. Alright. Okay. So I think that's all. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, madam. Alright. Thank you, madam. Alright. Assalamualaikum.